Today's episode of Chicago Bears Now is presented by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com and get and use promo code BEARS20. That's going to get you 20% off plus free shipping at checkout. It's manscaped.com, promo code BEARS20. All right, so the Bears have fired Ryan Pace on Monday along with head coach Matt Nagy. Pace, of course, was the GM for seven seasons and uh, is now out because only one winning season under his tenure. And the Bears... <laughs> As we speak, as we film this live on Tuesday, they continue to request interviews uh, for several candidates. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Ryan Pace uh, exits after seven years, did some good things. Him and Matt Nagy had classy statements on the way out the door, so good for the, uh, good for them. I wish them both the best. But now you got to replace them. So who should it be? Who should be the next Bears general manager? I want to know from you guys uh, in the comments. Just you know, type, let me know. I want to hear it. Who do you want as the next Bears GM? Uh, let's go full screen, Jack, here, and I'm just going to verbalize a couple candidates that have been, uh, you know, re interviews requested as we've gone live here. I've got my phone out, uh, just going to verbalize this. Just coming in, Adam Schefter says the Bears have requested to interview uh, Joe Shane of uh, Buffalo, uh, one of their uh, executives who we've talked about before. And then also they put in a request to interview 49ers Director of Player Personnel Ron Ca Rand Carth or Carth Carthen uh, for their GM job, uh, two organizations that have had a lot of success. So keep that in mind. I wanted to verbally mention them. Okay, top 10 guys that I have on this video. Lewis Riddick, I'll keep mentioning him. Uh, he, you know, he's familiar with the Bears. You know, he hops on, you know, ESPN 1000 and chops it up with those guys every single week. He also went on radio on Tuesday and said the Bears is the best GM opening. He came out and said that, and he said it's because of Justin Fields. So he's made, I think in a way he's making a pitch, but he's also doing his job. He's an NFL insider for ESPN, but he's saying, look, I got of all the GM openings, this is the best one, and that Justin Fields uh, makes this job really, really attractive. I think he's worth interviewing. We'll see if that happens. Uh, but uh, honestly, he would have been great president of football of ops. Then you bring in a GM under him, and instead of the GM reporting to George McCaskey, he reports to Lewis Riddick, and it all kind of works together, checks and balances on that front. All right, number nine, Mike Borgonzi, the director of football operations with the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, no interview request as we're filming this late on Tuesday, uh, but uh, depending on when you're watching this, that could change. He's been in a good front office for years. I think uh, he would be a good hire. Will McClay. Vice President of Player Personnel, he's basically the Cowboys GM, but Jerry Jones uh, has an ego and won't give up his uh, title of owner and GM uh, when he's basically just the owner at this point. And, uh, hey, jealous, he's, uh, he's making bank. But Will McClay, he helps lead their, uh, their uh, kind of draft boards. He uh, evaluates college talent. He helps in free agency. This is a really good guy at building a roster, uh, and Dallas has done just that over the last several years. Our offseason coverage is heating up. So subscribe. We're closing in on 40,000 subscribers, less than 200 away, uh, 220 away, depending on when you're watching this. YouTube.com slash Bears now. Subscribe and join the movement because we're having a lot of fun. Don't miss any of our coverage here at Bears now. Number seven, Glenn Cook, the vice president of player personnel in Cleveland. We'll also uh, bring in our number six guy, a couple of uh, Cleveland Browns candidates, uh, Kwesi Adolfo Minza, vice president of football operations. Uh, listen, you can laugh. <laughs> Why would I bring in someone from the Browns? Well, even though they underachieved this year, that roster is really good. Like Baker Mayfield is holding them back. Uh, they have loaded up on talent. You think about the moves they've made in free agency, the players they've drafted. I mean, Miles Garrett is an unreal player. Sure, they had the number one pick. That helps. But the point remains, they're aggressive in free agency. They draft well. Baker, you know, uh, that's a, uh, you know, it's a tough one, but he played well in 2020. Uh, the Browns have done well. They wouldn't be my top guys, but uh, I would consider bringing in one of those guys because they've put together a pretty nice roster. Manscaped, hey. Ladies, you watching, get this for your man because, uh, you know, uh, when things get frisky, you don't want to be, you know, wondering where his piece is, if you know what I'm saying. 20% off at manscaped.com, promo code BEARS20. You shave things downstairs, that piece is going to look a lot bigger and cleaner. Trust me on that front. The Lawnmower 4.0 is a fantastic product. It's got four adjustable guards. So if you don't want to go full clean shave, maybe your gal likes a landing strip, you can do that as well. More men's grooming products over at Manscaped also. Go check them out, manscaped.com, promo code BEARS20. That link, that promo code, it'll be in the chat. 
uh, the comments, the description, all that good stuff. Click and shop today and get 20% off. Top five candidates we go to replace Ryan Pace as the Bears' next GM here in 2022. Rick Smith, former Texans GM interview, has been requested, as has a few others. Uh, I mentioned the two Browns guys and the two guys off the top. Um, former GM uh, left Houston because his uh, wife was fighting cancer back in 2017. A lot of chatter that he wants back in the game. I think, uh, you know, he could be an option here for Chicago. Do you want to hire someone who's been a GM before, like Rick Smith? He has been a general manager in this league. Type Y for yes, type N for no. It's not a requirement for me, but it wouldn't hurt to interview some of those guys who have been a GM before. Number four, Joe Hortiz, who has been in the Ravens organization for a while, learned directly under Ozzie Newsome, who is absolutely fantastic, one of the greatest GMs in NFL history. I like that fact. I like that he's worked in a, sta in a stable franchise that doesn't have a lot of overhauling that happens, unlike Chicago, where <laughs> coaches and GMs keep shuffling in and out. you got to get this right. I think Joe Hortiz could be a guy that would be very, very good. Morocco Brown has also been a... Uh, uh, interview requested by Chicago Director of College Scouting in Indianapolis, one of two Colts guys that we'll get to here. Uh, he can evaluate talent really well. He was the first interview request by the Bears as well at GM. I think that's somewhat notable. Uh, Adam Hogue reported uh, this as well, that uh, they've had their eye on him. So I think that he's a guy they're interested in. Uh, the way they've built that offensive line in Indianapolis is super impressive, and he's a big part of that. Braden Smith was a guard coming out of college. They draft him. He ends up having to play right tackle, which is what Morocco Brown uh, wanted him to play, uh, but uh, uh, he was forced into action because of the injury, and now he's a Pro Bowl right tackle, so he knows how to evaluate talent, especially on the offensive line. All right, number two, Jeff Ireland, the assistant GM with the Saints. You're probably saying, well, Ryan Pace, he was with the Saints. Don't go that route. Two different guys, man, and Pace wasn't terrible, was he? It was just time to go. Not enough winning. Uh, Jeff Ireland connected both to Sean Payton and Jim Harbaugh. I think that's significant. If you want to bring in a guy that either could help uh, bring in those guys, or maybe if you catch wind that you can get one of those guys, Jeff Ireland, a guy that is connected to both. I think that's notable. I think the Saints have done a great job transitioning from the Drew Brees era. For them to go 9-8 and eight this year with basically no quarterback, uh, that's pretty impressive. And then at number one, Ed Dodds, the assistant GM of the uh, Colts. Uh, Ireland, Dodds, Brown, Smith, a couple others. Interviews already requested. Uh, Dodds is my top guy. He's a no-nonsense guy. Uh, you know, head to the ground. You know, I think he would be an excellent general manager uh, for Chicago. And uh, I think uh, he would really, really help this team move in the right direction and add the pieces, you know, a second corner, offensive line, like areas that need to improve. I think he'd be uh, a guy that could really recognize what those areas are. Who should the Bears hire as their next GM? Ryan Pace is out, so who's coming in? Let me know what you guys think.